What you should have noticed so far is that sine, cosine, and tangent, they're straightforward versions we use when we're solving for a side measure. The inverse trig functions, sine inverse, cosine inverse, and tan inverse, or arc sine, arc cosine, and arc tangent, so that's sine inverse or arc sine, cosine inverse or arc cosine, and tan inverse or arc tan are all used for finding an angle measure. Let's use example two and solve a couple more problems here. In this example, you're given three different triangles. For each triangle, I want you to solve for the missing angle measures. The only angle measure you're given in all of these is the implied right angle that has the red box and is understood to be 90 degrees. Take a moment, work these out on your own, resume the video as necessary to see the solutions. Alright, let's look at this first one. And I'll go ahead and solve for angle B first. I'll label. So I know here, because I have adjacent and opposite, I'm going to use tangent. Tangent of B equals 385 over 179. So B equals tan inverse of 385 over 179. We can use our calculators and find that B, let's see, tan inverse or arc tan of 3.85 divided by 1.79 comes out to be 65.06 degrees. Now to solve for C, we know that A, B, and C must all add to 180. So we can do 180 minus 90, which leaves 90 degrees left. And then 90 minus 65.06 means that C must be 24.94 degrees. Alright, there is another way you could have solved for C, and that would be by saying that CA side is your adjacent, AB is opposite, and we'll use tan of C, then equals 1.79 over 3.85, C equals tan inverse of 1.79 over 3.85. Or, just for kicks, let's use the different notation. C equals arc tan 1.79 over 3.85. Plug this into our calculators. And we get 24.94. Same answer as above. So that checks out. For the next one, I'm going to go ahead and start with angle B. This gives me an opposite side and I hypotenuse. So I'm using sine. Sine of B equals 2.09 over 4.17. Because I'm solving for B, I'm going to use sine inverse or arc sine. Plug it into my calculator as sine inverse of 2.09 divided by 4.17, and I get 30.08 degrees. If B is 30.08 degrees and A is 90 degrees, then C, which is this angle here, must be. 90 minus 30.08, C is 59.92 degrees. The other way you could have said it is that C is cosine inverse of 2.09 over 4.17, which you plug this into your calculator and it should still give you 59.92, which it does. So either way, it checks out. 